One of the most crucial elements of any racing engine are the fluids and lubricants inside, and Motul has been providing some of the best in the business for quite a while. No better example than the 300V lubricants that are found not only on the WeatherTech Sports Car Championship grid, but all throughout the IMS Sport Series paddocks and even in some of the road cars here in attendance as well. Motul's done something pretty special though for Motul Petit Le Mans. They brought the Motul Mobile Racing Lab here on site. Whether you're a racing team or a fan in attendance, you can get real-time in-depth oil analysis from an oil sample from your road car, your rental car, or your racing car out on track. Let's talk in with one of Motul's technical experts and find out just how much goes into this oil analysis and how it benefits fans and racing teams at the same time. I'm here with Hisham. Technical Morning, manager Jonathan. at Motul USA. We're in the heart of the Motul Racing Lab. Absolutely. Right behind you, uh, this lovely uh, Amatex uh, field lab. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it and what makes it so special and what can can occur and what it can tell us. Perfect. So first of all, welcome to Motul Racing Lab, and we are so happy to be here at IMSA at Betiloma. So as usual, Motul has been always part of this innovative or this proactive approach that we support the team with. And we are here for the first time with our portable racing lab. We are providing some proactive service to the teams. We all know how precious the time is and we all know how precious for the teams to organize or to have a proper maintenance schedule. And one of the things, one of the most powerful tools actually providing them with is the oil analysis. So oil analysis has been always part of the racing teams to organize, to make sure that they are everything is set, everything and not having any surprises on the race, which is quite important, right? So what we're doing in here, we're just providing the teams with just some empty bottles, as you can see in here. Just fill it in, as you can see, this is part of the samples that we get from the teams. Okay. So you can see just quite a few millimeters, but you can tell a story what's going on. Not just about the oil, but even more importantly about the equipment, the acid itself. So starting with the viscosity, viscosity is the most important property of the oil. So this is the first line of defense, right? If the viscosity is in a proper place, if the viscosity is in a proper shape, means that it will be able to protect the engine parts, it will prevent metal metal contact, and more importantly, it will reduce wear as much as possible. So second, we are testing the chemical properties of the oil. We need to make sure that the chemical properties of the oil is in a good shape, right? So we're testing the TBN, the acid number, the oxidation, nitration, sulfation, water content, glyco content, everything, soot. So all of this just to make sure that the chemical properties of the oil is in a good shape. Then we are moving to particles, right? So the first thing, the first enemy of any lubrication is contamination. Specifically, if you're having a faulty air filter that might ingest a lot of dirt inside and that will cause a lot of wear inside your engine. And of course, you don't want that. And we're checking this through counting the particles inside the oil sample. And then we're moving to the last part, which is the elemental analysis. We need to know actually if there is wear happening inside the engine, where it's coming from, which piece exactly. So through that, the teams would understand, hey, I need to check on this part, I need to replace that part before you find any surprises on the track. But then we are, the last test we're doing is the fuel dilution. Okay. One of the things that we, we really need to know if there is any fuel has mixed with the oil that will affect the oil drastically. And we need to know actually what the percentage of the fuel that exists in the oil. So through all of this, we combine all of these data, we generate a very comprehensive report, and then we're providing some technical, I would say, discussion with the teams, providing them with some insights so that they can blend their maintenance properly. Well, let's go ahead and actually start to test one of these oil Absolutely. samples. We've got a fun mixture. This is actually from a fan's car that is here parked at the event. Correct. And that one's from uh, Go Racing, one of the IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge teams. Yep. One of the cool things about the oil lab is whether you're a team on the WeatherTech grid, on the Pilot Challenge grid, or any of the support series paddocks, uh, you can bring your oil from your race car and it'll undergo the same analysis as uh, the oil sample here, like from a fan. And you're getting the same detailed uh, level of analysis. Correct. Let's go ahead and, and see actually what is what is inside. So here. the first thing we have to do is we have to register the sample actually on our database. Okay. So that's that's thing we have done already. So that whenever it's registered in here, it moves directly to the to the lab. So once we click on the sample that we've already registered, it pulls out all the information as you can see in here. And then what we can do is go directly and start the testing. So. And Hashem, one of the amazing things is this whole analysis process just takes about 10 minutes. Correct. You mentioned at the beginning, time is yes, critical. Yes, yes, absolutely. Especially if you're a racing team. You can come from an on-track session, bring your sample here, and in 10 minutes you'll exactly. have a pretty good story Usually about the Usually, though, analysis takes 
few days actually to process, but here to provide some insight just in 10 minutes. That's, that's great. And I imagine, obviously in an endurance race, something that's 10 hours where you know you have countless hours of practice, qualifying, shakedown time, until you get to the race itself and then your engine's gotta last. It's invaluable for a race team, but also someone who's maybe just driving to work every day, driving on a track day, driving to school. You want that 100%. engine to last too. Absolutely, yes. So it's, it's, it's quite revealing that everybody is relying right now on the oil and ice actually, not just to know the condition of, of the engine, but even to determine the drain interval, right? So it's, it's one of the most uh, questions that we get, how, la how long it can last with my engine oil, right? And the answer to this, you have to check with the oil analysis, right? So we're providing very invaluable substances. And I don't know many other places where a fan just bringing their car to a race can have the same access to some of the great technology that some of the best racing teams in the world have. Here you go. In terms of this level of detail in the game. Yeah. And it's for free, right? Yeah. Or they exist. Plus, by get a uh, sample and fill it in. We do that the rest for you in 10 minutes. Right? Even better. Yeah. Yeah. We are done. All right. Yeah. Let's see the report, how it's okay. looked like. Okay. Well, there it is. All the oil analysis that you just did in the field lab. So far, it looks looks nice. I'm going to okay. show you right now. So, as you can see in here, so this is basically how the report is going to look like. Yeah. So all of the parameters are already mentioned in there. So we look at the viscosity, we make sure the viscosity is in a good shape, which is in here, the viscosity is yeah. good. So then we look at the wear metals. All the wear metals looks fine. There is no flagging part or flagging elements that you can say this is this something uh, wrong. The only thing that we can highlight in here, as you can see, we have seen the iron is okay. almost 4 BBM. I see, and it says right here, you can even show that. Even though, yeah, this is yeah. not this is not something that I would say uh, crazy or, or uh, out of limit, but it's, it's flagging that maybe that could be a problem that you have to tackle. So maybe you see the next sample if you need to check how it's progressing. If it's increasing the number, which indicates we might have some wear methods in, um, wear happening or metal to metal contact happening in this engine. So you have to, to be mindful of that, so not to have a worse situation. Right? And like you said, it's that proactive approach where, have we not done this sample? Correct. This yes. fan may not know. This yes. they might be an, an issue down the road. And Those are silent killers, right? So you need to know about them before it's, it's get worse, right? Well, thank you very much. It was Absolutely. awesome to get to see the lab in so all its glory. Uh, it, it's fascinating. The amount Absolutely. Of data you're able to pull thank out you here. so much. It's, it's even more mind-bending that a fan can have the same access to this that, that some of the best racing teams in the world do. Here we go. Watch us this season on NBC and Peacock. Be sure to subscribe to IMSA on YouTube and enjoy our brand new IMSA Endurance Hour podcast. And if you're interested in digital activation and motorsports, visit IMSA.com partnership.